What's going on, guys? It's your boy Keith, aka Kira, aka the God of the Gaming World. Once again, guys, we are on Outlast 2. This is chapter 20, guys. Chapter 20. We are nearing the end of this series. I would like to first thank everyone who has been tuning in. Thank you so much for the guys who have been supporting me. You know who you are. Thank you so much for sticking with me throughout throughout this whole series here. Uh, of course, I am expecting to have more content available to you guys here soon. Uh, I'm still trying to decide on what I want to show you guys next. It may be another PlayStation title. Um, I'm actually working on trying to get my Xbox information and stuff straightened out so I can get some Xbox videos going on for you guys as well. But anyway, as we last left off from chapter 19, guys, we were climbing down a stairwell and of course we were initially chased by the heretic woman by the heretic leader and of course she was chasing me then and uh, yeah as you guys can see I met a swift end early in the video <laughs> but yeah guys I have just been kind of playing around with some of the Xbox uh, video editing features or whatnot so just wanted to be prepared for you guys when I start releasing content for that. And uh, who knows, uh, I might even play a horror game on the PlayStation again real soon. You guys might see them. Wink, wink. <laughs> Another horror series. <laughs> so, so definitely uh, stay tuned for that as well. I'm definitely going to keep cranking out different video game footages for you guys. I want to do more new content. But of course, if I'm not able to crank out new content, just games of stuff that I've been wanting to play and get through for the last longest, trying to get through it for you guys so you guys can see the footage as well. So anyway, um, we are slowly working our way through the mines here, guys. As I mentioned, we're getting closer and closer to the end of this game. Uh, again, those just tuning in, this is chapter 20, chapter 20. I think I'm going to make one more video of this and then of course uh, it's going to be a wrap on this series. I don't know if you guys heard but when I fell down there I heard a couple of splashes in the water. So it made me believe that somebody's in here with me. I think there, I think there are some people down here but I can't see them because it's so dark. I'm trying to figure out where to go though at this point. So I'm slowly trying to work my way around, trying to figure out what's going on. Guys, this has been one hell of a ride, I will tell you that. <laughs> oh man, my heart couldn't take too much more of this game, so it's, it's good that it's coming to an end. I'm telling you, it's a little rough, but you guys are helping me get through. Thank you so much for that. So I'm walking and I hear noises. It sounds like somebody's moving. I hear like a little growling and movement. Somebody swiped just then. There's a creature. So it saw me. I'm trying to move, I'm trying to run, but this water is kind of holding me down. I still don't know where to go at this point. Like He's hot on my heels. We're just going around in circles. I can't stop because he's right on me. But eventually I do stop. So, <laughs> so yeah, take two. <laughs> or should I say take three? Because I died before. So again, start this again. So kind of go around this corner. At this point, I'm trying to find my way out. Again, it looks, it appears that it's one big circle, but I believe there's an exit. Came up with the idea of coming over here because it looks like this may be the way. And sure enough, it is. It's a path. So, but anyway, before we do go up there, though, Showing a little bravery here for you guys. I'm trying to get this battery that I that I had last time over here. Trying to work my way to get that. 
It's difficult trying to climb this thing. I'm, I'm not sure why I won't let me climb up, but. So I got my battery and I decided to just go straight on back to the area. I hear the dude swiping. I thought he was on me, but I don't think he is. I think he's trying to be able to see just as much as I am. And if you guys see me like jerking kind of a little bit, it's because I'm tired. Like once you get exhausted, you start to get all, you start jerking a little bit. You start shaking like your, your screen just kind of get all blurry and stuff. I'm so ready to get out of these mines. It's so dark and creepy. <laughs> ready to get out of this thing. I'm definitely hearing movement. I don't know if it's my movement or like I'm hearing movement, but I'm hearing something. Go ahead and reload this real quick. It's getting a little tricky now. So at this point, just trying to figure out where to go here. <laughs> and then I realized that there's a platform like above here. So, <laughs> so all that moving around was pointless. <laughs> So we've encountered a lot of stuff on this game, guys. A lot of stuff. <laughs> it's definitely been a journey here. And it's, it's finally getting ready to start to reach its climax here. And this thing done my, took my camera and then blew some stuff in my face. Yeah, this game is definitely coming to a head. I believe that's Lynn in the background here. So they're doing some some type of ritual or something. I don't know what he was planning on doing. He's surrounded. I'm beating you. Get off. Get off me. Stop. You have to tell me. Get off of me. Not unless you answer. No. Fine. Then you have to give up. If you say I win, I'll let you up. Okay. You have to say it. You win, okay? You're such a pushover, Blake. So that's Jessica again. All right. So it looks like we're actually with Jessica this time. And it appears by my shadow here that I'm a kid again, apparently. So she's taking me somewhere. I don't know why you have to be so 
And I believe, I believe, guys, you guys are finally starting to get to the point where your your questions are finally going to get answered. I want you guys to watch very closely here. So this is the truth about what really happened to Jessica, about what happened. And I'm pretty sure that if you've been kind of watching my videos, you can kind of assume and find out or assume or kind of make assumptions to what happened just by kind of piecing stuff together. But apparently we're at school after hours here. And we were just in the, look, looks like the cafeteria or kitchen. All these hallways look so familiar. Definitely look like, definitely look like all the places that I, I ran through before, so. You think your parents are home yet? No, usually not until after dinner. You think I could come over? Yeah, sure. Um. Why? Why what? Like, why do you want to come over? I don't know. So I've obviously, at this point, Jessica. Jessica's feeling me a bit. Sorry, we... What are the two of you doing in here? I'm sorry, Father. Lord. I don't know if you guys remember this man, but we've seen him a few times in the, in the past. We're just leaving. Let's step back. Blake? You're not in trouble yet, Blake. You don't want to get in trouble, do you? Just stay with me. So she wants me to stay with her for some reason. Tell me what you were doing in here. Were you misbehaving? This guy's mad you creepy, huh? your parents? Jessica, do I need to call your father again? No, please. I only want us to be friends. Nobody's in trouble yet. Does one of you think you can make this right? Jessica, Jessica, look at me. Will you pray with me? Will you help me make this right? Why don't you go along home, Blake? Don't go. Did I interrupt something between you two? It wasn't like that. A little sketchy, you man. You won't say? You know. He wants me to leave. Is a gift from God. To let you know right from wrong. And what you want is very wrong. Go home and pray. Stay. I mm. want you to stay. His eyes look Blake, cold. Please. This is awkward enough. Nothing's the matter, but I need you to leave us. Don't. Don't. Everything's okay. You can leave, young man. Walk away. Mm. So, guys, uh, you can kind of... Uh, Put two and two together here. This guy might just be a pedophile. Yeah, he seems kind of sketchy. This dude might be a pedophile. And uh, I believe all the notes and all the information that was being sent to me. I believe it was Jessica crying out to me. Reminding me about what happened. And she probably was just trying to show me how I also chose to run away rather than stay and help. Yeah, I believe she's trying to help me remember. But she's definitely screaming now. I have to go back to her. Can't just leave her there. I'm trying to figure out why blood is there. So the guy that that been kind of roaming the hallways and stuff like that, it was that father guy. Get away. I think he tried to to run after her, and then he might have killed her. And that's exactly what happened, guys. The truth. The truth, guys. Jessica was murdered. Jessica was clearly murdered. And it was covered up to make it seem like it was an accident.
she wanted me to save her. But I didn't save her. I didn't stop him. Alright, so I'm back in the real world, guys. Uh, it looks like the Christians might have came up and started fighting the heretics, it looks like. I'm not sure what happened, but it looks like there was a battle going on, so in the confusion, I'm dipping. I was being chased, but, you know. But anyway, guys, that was the truth, again, about what happened to Jessica. Once again, it's your boy, Keese, a.k.a. Kira, a.k.a. the god of the gaming world. This is chapter 20, guys. Chapter 21 will be the last and final finale, the conclusion of the Outlast 2 series. And, of course, guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in. And, of course, as always, be easy. Peace, peace.